for everyone out there, I would just like to say first, revelation to me means to reveal, for God to show us plainly. But I know the book of Revelation means many things to different people. This is just an opinion. I'm not saying it's my doctrine. Um, just something that I've seen. And it has given some, it has actually made people see the Father in His Word. And He's shown me, I mean, as with everybody, when you read a scripture, don't you notice you remember it? And it's not like the first time you heard it. Because in the scriptures it says that they will bring you, the Spirit will bring you into remembrance. So if you've never heard it before, it's not something that you can remember. That's why the scriptures are so beautiful. They live in our hearts. So forgive me if I offend anybody else's beliefs or anything this is just my opinion and I say this in love okay the book of Revelation 18 I'm not gonna add anything to it or take away because as you know as a Christian it is the only, one of the only books in the Word of God that promises the reader of it a special reward and those that take away from it get taken away of the tree of life and when man came out of the garden they must take and eat of the tree of life well with that Revelation 18 is about the Twin Towers when John wrote this I'm not sure somebody tell me exactly when it was wrote, wrote but it's fair to say it was written 1900 years ago, 2000 years ago. It was written before anybody that's hearing my words was born. You can agree on that, right? Okay. Now, imagine if you lived 2000 years ago and I plopped you in 2001 and said, okay, scribe what you saw. The prophet was so accurate that when you read it in English, it's not going to make sense in our time because if you see airplane, electricity, this, that, and the other, we know these words. But a lot of these words that we have weren't even born yet. Um, most of the English words were born of the 1500s, 1600s, even in the 2000s, or the 1900s, new words. Awesome. I mean, it's just words, words, words. Well, here, I'm going to start with the word. At the end of chapter 17, it leads us and it says, John 17, 26. Not John 17, 26, but since I said it, I'll read it. And I've declared unto them thy name and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Wow, that's powerful. In them and I in them. That's the Creator, Christ. Emmanuel, God with us, that lives inside of us, power be to God. Revelation 17, verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city that reigneth over the kings of the earth. Now, New York City is called the great city. John, God, this was inspired by God. And the woman that you saw, which woman represents New York City? I don't know. Give me any comments if you think of anything. The kings of the earth, the UN nation is in New York. That's why you hear Abna Dinity Jad and uh, what's his name in Venezuela? Call it, he called Bush the devil in New York City. Okay. That's just one sentence. I'll go to Revelation after 18 1. I'm going verse by verse here. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with 
His glory. Notice the word His. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. Notice the double emphasis. I'm going to read that again. Is fallen, is fallen. It has become the habitation of devils and of the hold of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird plain bird I, I don't know am I stretching like I said it's just my opinion throwing it out there for all the nations have drunk her drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth God is so good merchants of the earth World Trade Center that could be a literal literal interpretation um, I, <laughs> merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies now don't get me wrong everyone that died in 9-11 except the the scumbags that did it were saints and I'll show you that in the word in the word and I heard another voice wait sorry 18.3 for all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are ri wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies and I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins that you receive not of her plagues remember when those towers were on fire and they were saying come out come out of the towers okay well he would have said fire right well he does I'll go on further for her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her inequities who is her reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her, her works in the cup which she hath filled to her double now I'm not I love my country but I'm scared of my government I fear no man in Christ how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine. She shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. Revelation 18:19. And the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her or to sing for her were there any songs about 9-11 or anything when they shall see the smoke of her burning I don't know if anybody else okay Revelation 18:10. standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city Babylon now John's time Babylon was like you know how New York City has the skyscrapers, Tower of Babel. That's the great city of Babylon is talking about to come. That mighty city for a one hour is that judgment come. And I'll, in a later verse, I'll tell you why it's not the whole city. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore their merchandise of gold and silver I feel like this is commodities gold and silver precious stones and of pearls and of fine linens and purple and silk and scarlet and fine wood and all mess manner of vessels of ivory and manner of vessels of precious wood and brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men have you not seen the idolatry system uh, how they our time of birth put us on a securities paper in the stock market 
I'm not making this stuff up. Revelation 18.13. I'm reading it. Revelation 18.14. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. Revelation 18.15. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her just out stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping, and wailing. Now, if everything was destroyed, there would have to be people weeping and wailing. And saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen, purple, and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Someone out there, help me with this verse. For in one hour, so great riches has come to naught. I mean, the towers, I would what hour I'm not a scientist and you know remember the Harvard police and every shipmaster and all the companies and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of the burning saying what city is unlike unto the city remember what ta I mean just go back that day in your mind Remember, hey, look, if everybody died in the city, I'm going to read this scripture, Revelation 18, 19. And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour she is desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God, God hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took a, a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city of Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Falling down, I don't know, I, it's just opinion. I'm not trying to add anything. And the voice of harpers and musicians and pipers and trumpet eaters, these are people that were in it, the souls. God bless them. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeteers shall be no more at all in me. And the craftsman or whatever craft he be shall be found no more in me. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in me. Um, Revelation 18 tw 22, wait, 23, excuse me. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in me. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in me. People got married there all the time. For the merchants were the great men of the earth, the new world order, my opinion, I'm not okay. For by the sorceries, translated pharmakia, were all nations deceived. Every single commercial is, take this, may cause this, may cause that. With Codex Alimentarius, nuclear fallout, everything. The mighty men have set it up to where we need pharmacy. Where we're all, it's a deception. And in her, now this is talking about in the towers, okay? This is very important. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. You remember the towers? They said almost any, everyone from every country died in those towers and was represented that day. I love you all. I just need help on this because I, I see this. And a lot of people tell me they can't be. So I'm just wanting to know like uh, what you guys think. I love you. Peace be upon you.